All right, guys, welcome back. So today I took the kayak out this morning. Got this nice uh, West Coast slot snook. So yeah, didn't do any filming today. Just kind of wanted to get out. And my mission this week was to get a slot snook, and I got it, hit it on the first trip. So we're gonna cook it up for you. Show you a good snook recipe. Stay tuned. Let's go play this bad boy. All right, guys, so when you catch a snook, there's a, a slot snook. You're going to keep it. There's a quick and, quick and humane way to bleed these guys out. If you stick your finger up under the last gill plate, you'll find in the throat there's a, like a main artery. And what you can do is you can, you can just pop it. So you stick your finger up in there, you can find it actually with your finger and then pop it. And that's what I did here. Pop the artery, they bleed out really quickly. It's, I mean, I think one of the most, most humane ways to put one of these fish down. And you know, your meat will be nice and nice and bled. And uh, delicious. So let's clean this guy up. I think this is the best angle I can Try to work with here. I'm gonna start all the way up at the head. It's been a while since I've played a slot snook. They've been closed here so long. Probably only one, keep one this season. All about conservation, but snook are so tasty. Shaky footage. Sorry for the crappy footage, guys. I'm trying to do this solo. Can't find my tripod. Got the camera up on a full, a full cleaning stick. My fillet table has seen better days too. Oh man, this meat's looking great though. Definitely bled this fish out nicely. Definitely don't want to waste any meat on this fish because it's so damn good. Snook fillet right there. Skin it, and you're ready to go. I'm just gonna fillet this other side, and I'll meet you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, we're in the kitchen now, and what we're gonna do first for um, oh wait, I didn't even tell you what we're cooking yet. So we are making seafood paella. We're using the snook. We got uh, a couple lobster tails to throw in there, some steamer clams. A um, bunch of veggies, going to throw together some paella. This is a recipe is from my mother-in-law. She was born and raised in Honduras, so it's an authentic Spanish recipe. So let's get going. So first, uh, we are going to make a stock uh, with some saffron and some onions and chicken stock. And this is going to be to give us, um, you know, that saffron flavor. Um, that you get with paella. So we're using chicken chicken stock. We got a cup of water. We're gonna pour about half of a, well actually we're using chicken broth, but same thing. We're gonna use half of the, uh, I think this is a one quart container of chicken broth. And then we're gonna throw in some onions. Just 
Gonna take some of the onions that I have chopped up here already, throw them in there, and a little bit of celery in there as well. And we're gonna let that come to a boil and then simmer, and then we're gonna get started over here on this pan. All right? All right, so for this paella, we have our snook chopped up here, we got zucchini, broccoli, and then we have peeled and diced tomatoes. And we got some steamers, uh, clams. They're gonna go on top and a couple lobster tails. So for these lobster tails, we're gonna cut right down the backbone. Go around the other side, same thing. Cut the little uh, ribs out. Harder on this side. Your scissors are much better than mine. Are they? <laughs> we're gonna spread spread the meat apart a little bit. And then we're gonna take our knife, watch your fingers, press firmly, and then there we go. Same thing on this side. Boom, a little lobster to throw in there. No lobsters were harmed in the making of this video. At least we didn't catch them. <laughs> All right, next we got the stock going. We got everything prepped over there. We're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil in this pan here. All right, so we got one yellow onion, we got a red bell pepper, and we have one stalk of um, celery. And we're gonna add that in. Now, I didn't have any uh, fresh garlic, but we're just gonna do, you know, the good old uh, minced garlic out of the jar here. Nice scoop of it, plop that in there. And we're going to saute this for a few minutes till it's uh, nice and soft, sauteed. All right, so now that they're cooking, they're about halfway done, we're going to add our, uh, going to clean some of this water off here real quick, but going to add our chopped tomato, chopped, peeled and chopped tomatoes. So you want to peel them first and then chop them. Okay, add them in there. And then we're going to add some of this uh, Cezanne, Cezanne. <laughs> going to add some of that in there and a little paprika. And we're gonna cook that down until almost all of the liquid is gone. All right, so you're gonna cook this little mixture here until most of the liquid is cooked off. And then we're gonna add one cup of dry white wine. And we're gonna add one bay leaf as well. And we're gonna cook this down until it mostly mostly cooks off. You gotta wanna cook off the alcohol out of the mixture. About five to seven minutes. All right guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our uh, broccoli and we have zucchini here. We're gonna add that into the dish. And we're gonna mix that up, we're gonna let that just cook down for just a couple minutes. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our snook to get that cooking. What'd you catch the snook on? I got the snook on a, so, I mean, it's a complicated story, <laughs> but, um, so the snook I got on a pinfish the second time. The first time I found that he was one of the snook that broke me off previously on a grunt. <laughs> uh, well, I, he pulled hook. Because when I was filleting him, which I think I put that in the fillet, um, I found the grunt with the, my hook hole in his belly. <laughs> That's crazy. So, so yeah, I hooked the same snook twice, but I made sure I got him the last time with my last bait I had in the bucket. It was, uh, as I call it, it was a bait from above. <laughs> and the fish gods blessed me with this snook. So that's why I'm doing, you know, this awesome dish. Uh, Making, uh, making it tasty, feeding my friends and family with it, so. Now for the people who don't live in Tampa, what makes this snook so special? Uh, snook has been closed for a couple years now due to red tide and everything. And um, I usually keep 
like one a season when they're open. So season just opened, I got my one pretty quickly. So that's that's most likely all I'm gonna keep this season. It depends on how good this tastes. I might have to make this dish again. So we'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, now that's cooked down a little bit. We're gonna add our diced up snook. Boom, ton of snook in there. Not gonna be light with it. Gonna mix that in, let that cook for a few minutes. And then we're gonna add our um, stock, broth, whatever you wanna call it. It's been cooking over here. After we add our two cups of rice. Can't wait, it's getting close, getting close guys. So now we're gonna add in our, add in our rice. <clears throat> and we're gonna kind of mix that in there a little bit. And then immediately after that, Beautiful broth that we've been cooking here. And we're gonna kind of shake the pan up a little bit. Get that all nice, get all the rice soaked in there. And now we're gonna simmer this until that rice soaks up while that broth. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our lobster tail and our shrimp in there. We're gonna tuck them meat side down. Make it look all pretty. And we're gonna add that shrimp in there. I know, we need a whole whole pound in there. It's a lot of shrimp. Hope you guys like shrimp. <laughs> Put it all in there. Put it all? Put It'll it all fit. There. <laughs> it's gotta work its way in there. Alright, we're gonna put all the shrimp in there. We'll kind of we'll tuck it in there a little bit. And then after the shrimp, we got one more, one more bit to put in there. Kind of spread them out a little bit here. So right now we got snook, shrimp, and lobster. And now we're gonna tuck some little neck clams in there. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Can't wait. Boom. Now we're gonna let this uh, let this cook. It's almost done. About 15 to 20 minutes left, and I think everything will be ready to go. One thing, when you're cooking paella, um, you don't wanna stir it. You wanna let everything kinda cook down, and you want that crispiness on the sides and the bottom of the pan. Uh, that's, uh, you know, the Spanish way to cook it. You want that crisp on the bottom, you're gonna toast that rice. So, yeah. Let this cook down. And I, can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've been cooking for a while now. We did about 15 minutes uncovered, and then uh, the shrimp and lobster needed a little help. So if you got a cover for your pot, obviously throw the cover on. But I do not have a cover for this uh, giant pan. So I threw some foil on there. Let's we'll see what it looks like. Boom! Look at that. Look at that paella. That looks amazing. We're gonna throw some plates together now and we're gonna try it out, see how it tastes. So let's get right into it. Let's uh, let's toss, get a plate together for Jordan here. Oh, I'm first? Yeah, you're first. Dang, special day. i get you a, a whole lobster tail. Lobster tail on there. Well, it's a, oh, we gotta get that crust. Look, it's see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. See that crust? That's what you want. You want that crust in the bottom of the pan. Got the snook in there. Get some clams in there, some broccoli, a couple clams. 
That's rabbit food. I don't eat rabbit food. Oh man, look at that. That turned out amazing. That's what you want, guys. You want that crisp at the bottom there. That's all that flavor, everything. That's why you don't stir. That is why you do not stir. Is there, yeah. an, is there an echo in here? <laughs> you gonna enjoy this or not? <laughs> I'm just kidding, bud. Throw you an extra shrimp on there. <laughs> all right. All right, uh, give me a fork, Ryan. Let's get a taste test. We'll get a taste test from you in just a second, baby. Yay. Oh. I'm tasting the next. Come here. I'll, I'll film you. All right. All right, the official taste test. So I'm going to start with this nook, and I'm going to take a piece of this crust. You need the crust in there, yep. So I'm going to take oh. It's hot. It's real hot, I can tell. So the snook. It's nice and moist, but not too wet. <laughs> That's not nice and Ryan. moist, but seriously, Ryan, not too wet. <laughs> what, the, what are you doing? Oh, it's good. yeah, real good, real good. My turn. A <laughs> mm, little bit of crunch from that. It's all about the crust. How's the crust? The crust is, that Perfect. makes it right? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you drained the rice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's real good. It reminds me of a Korean dish. I'm telling you, the bibimbap, that when I was in Korea, I ate some bibimbap, which they make a crusty rice bottom of it, and they put an egg over top of it. It kind of gives me that vibe. But yeah, it's real good. Oh, no. Oh yeah, real good. Well, we're gonna it. we're gonna plate this up, and uh, yeah, everyone's gonna enjoy it. All right, guys, one last thing before we go: um, if you guys want to check out Waterland sunglasses at waterlandoutdoors.com. Hey, that's me. Yep. Um, so we, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> so we're on uh, we're on board with Waterland sunglasses. You can get your pair at fifteen percent off at waterlandoutdoors.com. Check them out. Uh, the code at checkout is RFFC. It helps us out, helps them out, and you get 15% off your pair of sunglasses. They're great quality. We're loving them so far. We've been trying them out a couple weeks now. And, I mean, they're right there with Costa, Smith, uh, Maui Gym, all that. So definitely, uh, yeah, check them out. Uh, but otherwise, the meal was amazing. Everyone loved it, even the kids. And we're going to just hang out and enjoy some adult beverages. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you all later. And the, the, the Thanks for watching. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next. Peace. Olay! <laughs> <laughs>